Hello, cheese rolling fans. I'm Kevin Arepa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. In our continuing series on the defense uh, experts' role in digital forensics, uh, today's role that we're going to cover is validating the data. This is the third of five roles that I'm talking about. Uh, when I talk about validating the data, what do I mean? Are the files that are alleged to be on the drive actually on the drive? Now, that may sound kind of stupid, but I have done cases where they have alleged that XYZ is on the drive, and it's not on the drive anywhere. And when you call them to task, they can't find it now. But if you hadn't been there to call them to task, it would have gotten pushed through because nothing is as impactful in a court of law as showing that picture on the big screen for the jury to see. Oh, they see that picture? It's game over. If the, if the prosecution is saying it's there and this is where we found it, why would the jury not believe them? So that's, that's part of what we're trying to do. Are the files actually on the drive? And if they are, are they what the prosecution says they are? Again, seems like an odd question. I did a case where out of 10 charging instruments, 10 indictments, 10 counts, nine of them were, there wasn't even a human being in the picture. Software that was meant to detect skin tone in pictures and the percentage of skin tone throughout the picture to label things as pornographic in nature uh, hit on pictures of a beach, a vacation, nine of them. The 10th picture, yeah, that was a, a, an image of child exploitation, but it was part of a three-part component of a third-party banner ad from a site that had nothing to do with pornography, let alone child exploitation. So is it what they claim to, is it what the prosecution claims it to be? Now this should be quite easy to validate because it is, uh, I mean, is it a picture? Yep. Okay, is it here? If someone is doing a search for guns and they're showing a hit from eBay, guess what? eBay doesn't sell guns. I did a case like that once where it was alleged that, oh, this person was uh, searching for guns on eBay, part of a bigger picture of the examination. It turns out that, I mean, by itself, that sounds bad. But the truth was the accused son was looking for paintball guns on eBay. Easy enough to prove, but that wasn't what the prosecution was trotting out. There's a role to be played here. I can't change the data. The data is what the data is. And I'm just trying to validate it. In the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.